Hey everyone, it's me Dennis. So, we finally got the good stuff. Uh, we finally got the races, the winter races, we got the new horses, we got um, winter pets, and we're gonna be checking them out um, today. Now, I know I'm a bit late to the whole thing. I've been having a very rough week, and I'm gonna be talking about that a bit later on in the video, if you guys wanna listen to that. I am having, I don't know if it's a burnout or not, and it's not because of Star Stable and videos. I mean, it's a lot of things that have added up to me feeling this way, I feel drained. Um, I've been wanting to record a video for the past, I don't even know, dude, it's been a while, I just can't, I don't have the time to do what I want to do, um, but I'll talk about this later on in the video. So we have the race helper, the little dinky rat. Whoa, that's a lot of XP, dude, I'm gonna bring the horses I want to train. Um, I'm not gonna take anything back, I said in my last video, Star Stable is in fact lazy, and they decided to, you know, release the winter update in chunks so that it would stretch as much as they could, the updates because they're lazy and they don't want to add and work. They don't want to add anything new and if they want to stick to this way of you know releasing weekly updates then it's just going to be embarrassing like this, they're just going to stretch things out, release them in chunks because um, they're not going to change that, they're not going to change the fact that we have weekly updates which sounds really good doesn't it? Having weekly updates sounds like wow the team is really dedicated and they're like really hard working which I'm not saying they're not but like dude if you cannot physically release good updates because it's your human and of course every single week to come up with something new it's really hard then why don't you release an update once a month and make it a good update um what horse am i even training right now oh i finished training oak tree so i should start training a different horse you know what i want to train my rubicano because this horse is beautiful and i want to train it yeah that's my little rant there they just decided to stretch the winter winter races and updates as much as they could and release them in chunks because they release an update every week and of course you cannot always come up with something new and it's exhausting so I still like the smooth snow though the textures they're, they've used for the new winter village look at the way the people are just running in air because I cannot see them the bridge that is there so actually um, we can talk about what I wanted to talk about I thought I would just buy the horse but Apparently we're doing a race. So, I hold myself at a very high standard, if that makes sense. So, like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, Dennis, today you're gonna achieve, like, six things, right? And by the end of the day, I realize I don't have the time to do that, I don't have the energy to do that, so I exhaust myself because I'm, like, pushing so hard to, you know, achieve all the tasks that I want to do and get done for that day. Then I realize, wait, but I haven't done everything that I wanted to get done. And then my inner critic kicks in and I tear myself down. I'm like, you haven't done enough. You cannot rest because you haven't done enough. You should do more. And like, it's so exhausting for me to go through this. Wow, this is so cool. This is new. Dude, what? It looks freaking amazing. Yeah, this is cool. I like that. And I've been like struggling with this for a pretty long time. Again, my girlfriend is really nice. She's always helping me, um, you know, shift my perspective. And she's always like, Dennis, You've done two things, you should be content and you should be happy and thankful that you got those two things done and stop tearing yourself down for not achieving the four things you wanted to get done. You know, you achieve two of them, that's good enough, you can rest now. And I don't know, I've been feeling very drained for the past, I think, three days. For those that don't know, I also work. Oh, there are two ways you can go. This is really cool, like this race is actually awesome. Um, how am I gonna get there? Oh, okay. And so, you know, I have to work, uh, I told myself I'm gonna go to the gym every single day except for Sundays after I finish high school and I start working, which is happening right now. I work, so I, you know, I want to hit the gym every single day except for Sundays, and I do that. Um, that's exhausting, but I'm not gonna stop doing that. Um, yesterday, for example, I recorded two videos. I could not upload, I mean, yeah, of course I didn't upload anything because I didn't. I didn't have the time to edit them because I had to work. I work as a UI UX designer and I have sometimes big projects to get done. Sometimes the frequency is different because, for example, sometimes I have... Whoa, that was... <laughs> I was launched in the air. Um, sometimes I don't have that much work to get done because the project that we're working on is not that demanding. But as of right now, I'm working on a pretty... Um, scalable project with my team and that takes a lot of my time then I also want to upload videos and record videos because I really do enjoy it and I don't have the time to do that and it frustrates me so much 
Um, I'm currently working on a video I recorded yesterday, but I didn't finish recording it because again, I didn't have the time to do that. And I don't know, it was just like, I didn't know what to do. Like I have literal headaches sometimes. I push myself so hard, you know, to do so many things in a day, but I realize how short the days are. Like you wanna do, you wanna achieve four things in a day, you achieve only two of them and you're like, dude, how did the time fly? Like how, how is a day so short? Yeah, anyway, um, I'm not gonna stop recording videos. I'm just gonna try and find a healthy balance for me to stop pushing myself this hard and um, try and stop tearing myself down. And if I only achieve two things out of four in a day, then I should be happy and content with those two things that I achieved and not tear myself down for the other two that I didn't. You know what, this race is actually really cool. I like the texture they used for the, for the eyes. It is done. This horse is stunning. Probably the best coat Sarsip was ever done. Well, one of them. Alright, we got three more wishes. Your horse ha Oh, this is the Icelandic from the app. Anushka, can you move your fatty? I want to see the Icelandic, not your ratatouille face. Dude, please move your fatty. Okay, this is a pretty... Why is it frozen? Why is the Icelandic not moving? Yo, you breathing? Buddy, you still alive? Anyway, alright, we have to unignore the per- Wow, why do I have so many people in my ignore list? Alright, so let's check out... Also, I haven't been on Star Stable in a very long time, so I haven't opened my gifts, so let's do that. Day 3. Snow flurry pants, what are those? Plus 3 riding, never gonna wear those. Horse XP, I don't know how much I got. 200 shillings, that is funny. Coffee with milk, bro. Wormwishes, snow, those are pretty interesting. And then another XP for the character. All right, where are the new Arabians? They must be here. Look at them, rats. This one looks like a penguin. I think that's what they were going for. Um, oh no, they were definitely not going for that. I forgot that these are just magical and mystical horses. Okay, so this horse is really nice. My voice just cracked. Um, the dapples are kind of fish scaly, which is not the best thing, but it's nice. And then there's this one. Whoa, no, this one is beautiful. Now, I like both of them, but I think I will be going with this one because the eyes are just stunning and the coat is really cool and the contrast between the eyes and the coat is amazing. So, yeah, I'll just buy that one, but I also really like this one. It's got a really mild face. Yeah, the Arabians are beautiful. I was not sure I was gonna buy a horse, but they look really good. They're probably the best magic horses ever. Also because they look realistic and I don't really like magical horses and the creators or whatever they're called. Did they add new name options? Cactus? Did we have that before? Cave? They've added new name options. That's so cool. I'll just name it Woody, because I think that's cool. Even though it doesn't really match the horse, I like the way it sounds. So I'll just go with that one. Guys, I'm doing fine. I'm sorry if I sounded like a victim earlier. Um, I'm just... I want to update you guys. You know what's up. Why I haven't been uploading for a week. I usually upload multiple times per week. Which I really want to do, but I, I just don't have the time right now. And I want to balance... I want to find balance between work, going to the gym, and then also making videos. I really enjoy making videos, so I'm not going to stop doing it. Because to me... It's a way to relax when I record videos. Now to edit them, sometimes it's kind of like, I don't want to do that. But to record a video, I'm having a good time. I'm loving it. The whole winter filter thing with the snow and all that makes my game so laggy. And it's really annoying me that we don't have snow in Jorvik, like it's constantly snowing, but nothing is remaining on the ground. Where is the rot? Here it is. Here's a lot of rot. Okay, I don't like the magical mode. Looks like a freaking clown. It was like a bird or something, like a parrot. I don't know, dude. I don't like it. So, I'm so happy we got the option to turn it off whenever you want. There we go. Wow. <laughs> it looks amazing. Let's get the braids, because I cannot stand the default main. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, I just... I've got issues. I always have to change the main style of the horse. 
You can now what? Bro, what do you mean? I'll whoop your fatty. And then there must be the penguin race, right? That was in Valde last year. Did they also release that? I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, and the, the new bridles. The new bridles. Oh no, I hate, I hate them. I don't like the horn. Race to the winter village. All right, we shall do that. Oh, this is the old race, but they did change it. It looks different. Is it better? Let's see. I'm kind of gonna miss like the old races and all that because I don't know. Yeah, they did change it a little bit, but it's kind of the same thing, but it doesn't look the same. It's not the same for sure. Yeah, they just adjusted a few things. They made it look better. Whoa, that was unexpected. I'm so confused, why am I flying? There we go. Alright, so I just read the news again, and they did not release the penguin race. It's probably gonna be released next week. Because again, they wanna stretch out the update. You know, I'm not like surprised. Like, it's not like. Like, I understand why they're doing this. It's because releasing an update every week is hard. However, why are they not releasing an update every once a month and make it more consistent? Okay, where are the winter pets? Did they lower the prices of these guys? No, they didn't. Okay, so here are the pets. Let's see how expensive these pets are. Okay, but I want the owl. Like, I don't care, it's expensive. I need this owl in my life. I bought it. Sarsible is really making huge steps when it comes to like new pets. Because like the other birds, the crows, ravens, whatever they're called, those were also amazing. Yeah, the owl is beautiful. Alright guys, well, that was it for today's video. Um, let me know what you think about Starsable stretching the updates like this. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, ring the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.